Hello everyone, I'm Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are just going to, you know, connect our project to PostgreSQL and we will see how the connection is done. Okay, so I hope you have already have installed PostgreSQL in your system. Okay, so I'll just open PG admin 4. Uh, this will take some time to open. Okay, so let's just wait. Now once this is open, type your password which you have entered while creating the database. I mean installing the database. So I'll just enter my password. Then explore the servers. Now here, I'll just create database. So I'll just create and I'll say um, blog underscore rest underscore api okay and i'll just save this now remember this owner which is postgre okay postgres we will need this all this information while connecting so just do this thing and click on save now our database is created just minimize this uh, pg admin 4 okay and go to settings.py now here i will just comment this uh, database variable okay this default database uh, settings so by default django uses uh, sqlite 3 okay so we don't want to use that database so we are going to switch to postgresql after commenting this uh, default database settings open terminal now you need to just activate your environment virtual environment okay so i will just activate mine and i will fire a command which says pip install psycopg2 so this is a package which will help you to connect with postgresql okay so after installing this minimize your terminal now here i will just copy this database variable okay and create dictionary now in here I will write default. I will just copy this default and create one more dictionary. Now here our engine is going to be different. Okay. So our engine is going to be Django dot db. Oops, db dot backends dot postgresql so post oops post gresql okay so this is going to be our database engine now this will require name of your database okay so i'll say name and here I will write name which I have provided over here. So our database name was blog underscore rest underscore API. Okay, so I'll just say oops, sorry. Blog underscore rest underscore API. Then I need to enter the user. Okay, so user. Again, you can see the database user by right clicking and go to properties and you can see the owner is known as the user so in our case it is postgres okay so i'll say postgres then we have password so enter the password which you have kept while installing the postgres okay so mine is yash 2121 which is very simple then I have host so our host is going to be localhost because uh, this is basically running on our system okay our local system so it will be localhost and last thing which we need to add is port okay so by default postgresql runs on a port number 543 so I'll say 54 and 3 sorry 5432 yeah so this is the settings which we require to connect with database now just save come to terminal clear all these things and if i say python manage.py migrate 
then it should run all the commands successfully okay so if you see all these status okay 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 then your database connectivity is good i mean successfully done right and if i go to postgre and click right click on this database name and click on refresh then go to schemas tables and here you should see some predefined uh, tables by django okay After if you don't see anything and if you get error over here then let me know in the comments i will definitely try to help you so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in next one thank you